Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I haven't been on YouTube in a long time. I, I have not been on YouTube in a very, very long time. A lot has changed. I got a lot of stuff to update you guys on. Just a whole lot of stuff. Um, yo, 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 yeah, what's I mean, cracking? I, That was just uncalled for, to be honest with you. This dude doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't mind my evil twin over there. Um, pretty much what I was saying is uh, a lot has changed. And uh, bro, why don't you just go ahead and leave? You can leave. See you later. All right, my brother. Pretty much what I was saying is a lot has changed and um, you know, I haven't been on YouTube in a long, in a, in a while. I've just been busy uh, dealing with, you know, personal things. Still in the shop, of course. My dad's video just shot up out of nowhere and it's at nine. Last time I looked at it, it was at 9.6 thousand. It might be higher, it might be lower, I don't know. Also, I wanna thank you guys for 200 subs. Like, last time I checked, it was at 206. And I, I don't know, that's, it really made me happy because like I say, th there's a lot of, effort that goes in behind these videos i mean i'm buying beat leases so that i could have these background beats for you guys when i do the tutorials you know and it is a hassle having to record videos and things of that nature i mean you constantly have to you know adjust it and make sure it, it's set properly thank you guys for that i do appreciate that um hopefully we can hit 500 you know what i'm saying that's that's the next goal 500 subs uh hopefully that's the plan right now that's the goal for 2022 Coming into 2022, you know, I wanted to at least hit 100 subs before New Year's, well, January 1st, and, you know, I ended up hitting over that, and the next thing I know, I was at 200, so that's great. I love uh, all of you guys. I appreciate all of you for that. Today, I have a 360 wave cut. I haven't uploaded one on my channel yet. I figured this was the per perfect, golly, I cannot talk, perfect opportunity for you guys to see a 360 wave cut tutorial the way I do it. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see y'all in the, actually, no. Watch the rest of this damn video. Yo. What's going on YouTube, man? It's been a long little while since I was last on here, man. It really has been a minute, but you know, we always come back uh, better than ever. You know what I'm saying? Was going through a little bit of personal things um, and whatnot, but I'm back, man. I just want to say thank you guys so much for over 200 subs, man. And my dad's video got like 10K views right now. That's big time. That's big. So I'm not even, without further ado, we're going to get right up in here, man. So I got my boy James right here. He's a 360 waver. He takes it very seriously. He's brushing. You know what I'm saying? You can see the waves are in there. Yes, sir. I hope y'all like this uh, this angle, too. I've been trying to play with the, the manual focus on the camera and, and zooming in and whatnot. Just trying to make it a little bit better for you guys, a little bit more enjoyable. So for any waver haircut, I go in and I like to comb everything. You know, wavers spend all day brushing their hair to lay that hair down and you got to lift that hair up off the scalp before you can go in and actually give it a clean cut. So lifting all that hair up off the scalp. Instead of knocking the hair down, I went ahead and just started the, the back taper. So I'm going in with my lever all the way closed on my wall cord, the seniors. The lever is open now. I'm probably gonna go up about half an inch to an inch, make a little guideline, continue cutting against the grain. Hair might grow in different directions. So I'm going lever open as usual. That's the first step really in anything. And now I got my lever about half the way open. So we're probably about half the way open right now. Just nudging at that bottom line, just getting it to blend right up into that lever open. That's all we're doing here. And then I'm gonna go grab my 1A detachable blade on my Oster Volt clippers, cordless detachable clippers. Most people would do a one closed or a 1.5, a 1.5 with the grain. Um, 
we I've consulted with James a, a million times and you know we've kind of just dis decided on this length right here so this is the desired length a 1a detachable blade with the grain so that's what we're doing making sure we're keeping everything consistent nice and consistent going around the entire head and making sure that we're going with the pattern of his waves if you go against the pattern you will you're you're gonna patch somebody and then you know it's you don't want to do that you know these waivers spend all this time brushing their hair and spend all this time maintaining their hair and putting all this hard work into it you don't want to mess that up so always make sure that you're going with the grain and not against the grain on a waiver's haircut unless they suggest or let you know hey i want to go against the grain So now we're jumping back into this neck taper. We already did the lever open, so I'm gonna go in with my one guard closed. And I'm probably, I'm going up about a half an inch to an inch again. Keeping everything against the grain, trying to keep everything nice and consistent. And now I'm gonna go with the grain, with that one guard closed just to better set myself up or set myself up for a better transition and then i'm going to open the lever all the way and now we're kind of just knocking like nudging up into that that bulk line area and mind you you know his waves are really in there so some things may look like a guideline and when really it's just a part of the ripple it's just how the the, the wave is set in there i know it's kind of i know my shoulders in the way i do apologize for that but that's all i'm doing is just nudging playing around in that area just trying to set myself up for a better transition so the lever's closed now i'm going up under that one open now it's back open and i'm going back up in there you know the higher you go the more you open the lever the lower you go the more you close the lever so now i have my half guard on there and it is all the way closed and i'm nudging at that very bottom line now we're open halfway just tapping up just fading up now we're all the way open tapping up a little bit more and as you guys can see i mean that thing's already getting faded i mean it's already getting nice and blended in that's why i like these steps i feel like they're easy to follow and it's easy to be consistent with these steps so now the lever's open again as you guys can see same thing we did on the left side we're doing on the right side and then it really just comes down to detail work man i mean this this half guard is really this is like the blending guard. This is what brings everything together. I like to call it the kill shot. This is what sets everything up for that kill shot. So that's all we're doing here. Just detailing and moving right along, man. That's all we're doing. Trying to keep everything nice and consistent, nice, nice and clean. This is a waiver's cut, so gotta make sure it's pristine. So now jumping into the neckline, I went ahead and hit him with some holding spray. And after we finish that taper in the neck area, we're gonna go ahead and line him up. So I'm starting up there towards closer to the ear, I'm bringing it right on down. And man, and look, all right, man, shout out to Babilis. These are the original gold FXs that came out that first dropped. And because you know, the new gold FXs have a different blade. The, the new blade is a little bit more, it's like a deep tooth blade. These are the original ones that have that standard uh, T-blade on there. And these things hit. I have not found anything that'll spit crack like these do. These things give me that ash line regardless. And my client here, he did do a washing style before he came in, which is, which is definitely, uh, I guess you could say vital. You know, it's good if, if your client washes their hair before they come and get their hair cut. It, it kind of just sets you up for a very nice haircut. I feel like a dope haircut is, it's not just on the barber, it's on the client too. You know what I'm saying? There's prep work that needs to be done if that makes sense. As you guys can see, these things are spitting that ash line. I do need to go back on the other side though and kind of even that up a little bit. Which I will end up doing that. But just moving right along with this lineup process, you know, I like to hit hit the neck area and then I start to work behind the ears. Now, mind you, pay attention. I'm only using the corners of my blade. That is all I am doing is just using the corner of the blade. You don't want to try to put the, the whole blade back there. You're going to end up going up too high. You know, you just you just want to tap with the corners of your blade. That's that's all it takes. It's just the corners. 
And that's a key tip. Remember that you guys just always use the corners. So now I'm breaking into this side taper. We're gonna do like a lower ball taper. So I'm setting in my ball line. Now I'm lever open, going up maybe a quarter, well, probably about half of an inch. The lever is halfway open now, blending that out. Lever's open and I'm blending the beard in. Um, you know, he doesn't have a very full beard right now. Last time he got his hair cut, I think he had a goatee, but we wanted to go with the, the beard this time. So I was just setting myself up for a blend there. And here we go, lever's closed. Just like we did at the back, guys, but only this time, I'm not gonna go with the grain just yet. I'm just gonna open the lever. So it's a number one guard, lever open. And I'm going up into that bolt. And it almost blends itself in, I mean, already. But now I'm gonna close it again, just to ensure that I'm getting everything down to that length to set myself up for a better transition with that half guard. That's what it's all about, man, is, is making your job easier. I mean, not necessarily sacrificing quality, but making your job a little bit easier. And I feel like these steps are pretty easy to understand there. You see, I just went closed with the half guard, then halfway, now I'm open. And it's really just detail work at this point. I mean, I'm not saying that the taper's done. The taper looks all right right now, but you know, you gotta, you gotta put that detail work in. The detail work is what sets you apart from every everybody else. It's what sets a good haircut apart from a great haircut. So now I'm breaking into the back of the beard line. Um, I just like to keep it straight. I try to keep it natural. And I just like to go straight up and connect that into that line uh, that goes around the ear. And you guys can kind of see how it leaves that that contrast so you can you can see where that line is at that's what i love about using holding spray and that's what i love about using these trimmers so for my c cups i like to start at the very top of the c cup spit and crack you know and then for the the bottom of the c cup if somebody has a beard i like to start about right there towards the middle of the c cup in the beard if that makes sense right there on the side and then i just work that corner on up there man that's all you gotta do is just work that corner. I know some people will just start at the top and then kinda do what I'm doing right now all the way down. I don't, I just, I can never master that. So I always just take that corner and I just work it up in a curve. That's all I do. And now for the top of the beard, bringing it down a little bit because it doesn't grow in fully right up there at the top. So it's not a chin strap entirely, but we like to, he likes to bring it down right here. Mind you, this is one of my clients that's been coming to me for for, for forever I've been cutting him since the garage days so we kind of just know what we like to do with it and I could see that that C cup is a little bit shaky right now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna tap that and get that up to par always remember to check your mirror especially when you're lining up people always check your mirrors the mirrors do not lie the mirrors will not lie to you a mirror is a barber's best friend i don't know if you guys ever heard that but i have and it's the truth a mirror is a barber's best friend so now i'm just going back up in there touching that up working around that curve again trying to get it as smooth as possible and as you can see we in there yes sir that's how I do my C cups. I, everybody has their own way of doing things. This is how I do. This is how I do my C cups, man. That's how I do them. So now I know it's a little bit out of focus, but I'm just tapping the bottom of that mustache. There's two lines to a mustache. You got the bottom line, and you got the top line. So I'm tapping that bottom line. I'm tapping the side of the mustache that kind of connects to the goatee, that area. I'm gonna hit this other side, hitting the bottom of it. I'm not bringing it up too high. Mind you guys, I'm not digging into that bottom mustache line too much. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just to make a difference. Then I'm hitting the top of that line. Like I said, I know it's out of focus, you guys. I apologize for that. Telling my client to look up 
and I'm bringing that neckline up to the jawline. It's out of focus, but you guys can see what I'm doing here. And this is the same time. And this is the same type of thing I do with any client that has a, a beard like this. You know what I'm saying? I always have them look up. You always want to hit that neckline and clean up those neck hairs. This man just looking at the camera. <laughs> the waves are in there, man. Shout out to my boy James, man. He, he definitely stayed uh, consistent with it and continued brushing no matter what. So breaking into this front lineup, man, we're going to start. I like to start in the middle and I work my way to one side. That's how I like to do my edge ups. I like to start in the middle and work my way to one side of the head. I don't like to go from left all the way to the right. I like to start in the middle, work my way to the left side. And I, you wanna make sure that you're standing directly in front of your clients if you can. And I hit that vertical bar on my vertical bars. I like to tilt it back just a tiny bit because if you just go at a 90 degree angle from the side, it'll look straight up and down. But from the front, it might look like it's it's slanted inward, if that makes sense, or outward. But it's gonna look slanted, so you wanna kinda make sure you angle that, just to angle it back just a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy, though. I'm keeping it consistent, man, doing the same thing on this right side. And as you can see, man, I really don't even need to hit him with a straight razor. I am going to anyways, but he really doesn't need it, man. He really does not need a straight razor. I mean, that, that holding spray and these trimmers do the job, man. So I'm just gonna go back through and I'm gonna tap at that hairline one more time just to really sharpen it up, give it that, that sharpened look to the best of my ability. You know, we're keeping it natural, so that's what we're doing. So now I'm going in with this Waves In Hair Butter. This has not hit the streets yet. If you guys want a tub of it, let me know. Waves in hair butter, man. This stuff is all natural. It's mango butter, shea butter, and all of the essential oils that you need to keep your hair nice and healthy and shiny, moisturized. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's really, it's, it's honestly God tier for waivers to get that extra shine. But honestly, man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is the cut. You know, we kept it all natural. No enhancements. A low ball taper on my boy James. The waves are in there. You feel me? A nice, clean ball taper, man. Low ball taper. So shout out to my boy James. But if y'all enjoyed this one, y'all like the cut, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't subbed already, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I don't got my microphone on, but uh, how you feel about your cut today, sir? Thoroughly impressed. Yes, sir. I mean, your waves are in. Waves in. It might be because of the butter. Mm. I was gonna have to get some of that. Let me up. Auto focus. You see the neck, boys? Them bitches. Whoo.